so good morning i am prabhu ved marath assistant professor department of csc bldct vijaypur so in this video i am going to discuss about the concept of the structure the advantages of structure or arrays defining structure declaration initialization and accessing a structure members so let us first understand what is structure a structure can be defined as a collection of dissimilar data elements stored in computer memory it is also called as user defined data types so let us consider a declaration of a normal variable so here we have declared three variables so the first variable is of type int second one is a sequence of the characters and the third variable salary is of type float so whenever these variables are declared a memory location will be allocated at different memory area so we are not sure that all the memory will be allocated consecutively so here the memory location for id is allocated from address 1000 to 1004 and for name variable a memory is allocated starting from 2004 to 2014 for the salary a memory is allocated starting from 3002 to 3006 say uh, suppose if we want to store a uh, uh, information so which is belonging to same type then we would use the concept of the array so here we have declared a array of name grades and we are storing the information within the array here so here what happens a memory is allocated consecutively and all these values are stored in a consecutive memory locations so here all the data is of same type suppose if our requirement is to store the information of dissimilar data say suppose if i want to combine all these information which is uh, of different type in a single unit and we want to hold all these different data within a single unit then what is a uh, solution for this so this can be achieved by using the concept of structure so what is structure here a structure is a user defined data type so which can hold or which can encapsulate dissimilar data elements within it so now let us understand what are the advantages of the structure over arrays so the structure is used to represent multiple data items of different types within a single variable name see we have used array to store a sequence of information uh, of same data uh, within a single array name similarly we use a structure to store multiple data items of different types within a single variable name a structure can be used to store heterogeneous values that is different type of the data we can encapsulate in within a single unit a structure can even hold the value of an array but reverse is not possible a array cannot have hold a structure here right so one question which arises is then how to use a concept of the structure in c programming for implementing a uh, programs or a problems particular problems suppose if we want to implement a structure concept in c we have to follow the following steps here so they are first we should understand how structures are defined how structure variables are declared and how structure variable are initialized and how to access the members of a structure for performing some operations so let us see one by one uh, so what is defining a structure 
see before we encapsulate the information uh, within a single unit we should know how to encapsulate so uh, de declaring what information we are going to encapsulate within a single unit that is we called as what here uh, defining a structure so this particular uh, uh, notion will uh, give a information for the user to encapsulate the different data information within a single unit so defining a structure uh, we have to follow uh, this particular syntax for defining a structure say uh, we have to use a struct keyword and tag name is nothing but what here the name of the structure so opening flower bracket so within this block we are going to encapsulate or we will list out what are the different uh, attributes of a uh, attributes or the particular data we want to encapsulate here so every data is declared uh, by by its uh, type and its name here so the type is nothing but what here any data type and member name is nothing but what here the variable so let us consider an example here so assume we want to encapsulate or uh, we want to store the information of an employee such as id name and salary within a single unit then what we are doing we are encapsulating all these information within a unit single unit that is called as what here employee structure so here the employee structure is defined by using the keyword struct and the name of what here uh, the structure so here employee is what here the name of the structure so the first member is what here the id that is id of the employee uh, it is of type int so name is a variable which holds the name of the employee this is of type what here character and salary of the employee this is of type what here float so this particular uh, uh, segment is called as what here defining a structure and all these uh, elements are called as what here the members or fields of a structure so whenever this uh, structure is defined then a respective memory is allocated in this manner here so this figure shows the memory layout for the structure uh, elements right so the first uh, element of the structure is allocated from 1000 to 1004 and second uh, member is allocated from 1004 to 1014 and the third uh, member of a structure is allocated from 1014 to 1018 so all these members are allocated consecutively so here the total size of the memory which is allocated for this structure is that is 4 plus 10 plus 4 is equal to 18 bytes here so let us consider few more examples uh, so suppose i want to store and process the information related to what here book here so uh, we we would like to collect the information of book number and uh, book name and book price so all these data are belonging to what here different type here so the book number is what here integer book name is character book price is uh, integer we have taken so even you can take it as what here double or float so the keyword struct we have used and this is the name of the structure right so all these information we have encapsulated within the structure where the name is what here book so let us consider another example so here we we wish to show store and process the information uh, related to what here the particular product so every product will be having what here the product number product name product price total and quantity so all these information is belonging to what here different types so all these different data types different uh, data items we have encapsulated within a single unit so the name of that single unit is what here 
product here. So, the next uh, concept is what here? The declaration of the structure variable. See, uh, in previous section, we have discussed how to encapsulate the information within the structure, right? So, here what happening? All these informations are inside the book and uh, in, in this example, all these information, all this data is inside a product structure. Suppose, if I want to access the product number, product name, price or quantity, so directly it is not possible because now all these information is encapsulated within the uh, product here, product structure. Suppose, if you want to access the members of the structure, we have to have what here? the structure variable right so the structure variable uh, can be defined in a declaration or global part of the c program before a structure variables are used in the main program see any information which is encapsulated in a structure if you want to access such a information you have to first declare the structure variable a structure variable is a reference created for the structure uh, by that reference, you can access the uh, members of the structure. So, creating a structure variable will follow this particular syntax here. That is the keyword struct, the name of the structure and list of the variables which are separated by the comma here. So, let us consider an example. So, we, we, we are dealing with employee information and uh, we are uh, collecting the information uh, related to what here employee so where the employee number employee name and salary so all these information we have encapsulated within a structure name that is what here employee suppose if you want to access the data that is id number name and salary you have to have what here structure variables a structure variable is declared as shown here that is struct so name of the structure and all of these three are what here are uh, three different structure variables and you can also uh, uh, declare a structure variable uh, by following this syntax also so that is immediately after structure definition you can list out the structure variables and at last you have to put what here semicolon so both uh, methods are what here valid so, the moment when you create a structure variable, then the structure variable is mapped to structure uh, members as shown below. See, uh, this particular structure variable will be having what here? Separate uh, members, these structure members. This particular structure variable will be having, will obtain its separate structure members and this structure uh, variable will also obtain this particular uh, all these structure members here see what you can do uh, you can initialize by writing uh, the following two statements here so what we are doing we have declared a structure variable what is its name that is e sorry uh, this is what here this must be employee so this is this must be what here e and let us consider this is what here uh, e1 and this is what here e3 so, instead of employee 3, employee 2 and employee 1, so consider it as what here E, E1 and E3. So, our structure variables are what here E, E1 and E3. So, these two statements are initializing a particular values to these structure variables. So, then uh, this is what here E is what here one of the structure variable uh, variable that is reference to what here this structure and it will be having its own members e1 will also be having its own members and e3 will be having its own uh, members here so once after uh, declaration of the structure variable is completed the next uh, section is what here uh, initialization of the structure variables so initialization means uh, supplying some initial values to the structure uh, members here so that is done by using uh, either compile time initialization or runtime initialization right so let us uh, consider how com how initialization is done in done at compile time so uh, 
to initialize uh, members of the structure at compile time you have to follow this particular syntax that is our uh, struct keyword and uh, name of the structure and the structure variable immediately after declaring a structure variable you have to supply the list of the uh, values so these values should match with what here the uh, the members of the structure here right so let us consider uh, example see uh, we have declared a structure uh, which encapsulates the information of the employee and the name of this structure is what here employee and uh, here what we are doing after uh, defining a structure we are declaring a structure variable immediately after declaring a structure variable we are supplying the values means e is what here one of the structure variable and this particular structure variable will be having what here all these uh, members right so the first member is initialized to 22 second member is initialized to kumar and third member is initialized to 2000 here similarly we are declaring one more structure variable and that particular structure variable is initialized to what here uh, these values and uh, the next is what here uh, runtime initialization so runtime initialization means what here uh, suppose if we don't know in advance which values has to be assigned to the structure members so that time we will go for initializing the structure members at runtime so during program executions uh, during program execution we will give a value from the keyboard and those values are uh, initialized to the structure members here so what we are doing uh, same program see here we have declared uh, two structure variables and uh, next uh, we are writing a printf statement uh, for asking the user to enter the uh, details of the employee that is id name and salary so we have written two scanf statements the first scanf statement will read the details of first employee and uh, that is read by what here uh, say e dot id num e dot name and e dot salary right so we are accessing the id of this first structure variable by using what here dot operator dot operator so this we will discuss later so this particular uh, part is called as what here accessing a structure members so if you want to access structure member so you have to write the first structure variable name dot the name of the member right so similarly what we are doing we are accessing uh, we are assigning the values which are read from the keyboard to this particular structure variable uh, and its member here so the next section is what here uh, accessing a structure member so accessing a structure member means what here see uh, here all these are called as what here structure members so these structure members are encapsulated in a structure that is called as what here employee so you cannot access the members of the structure directly that is just by specifying say id num or name here id num name or salary because all these members are inside the employee structure so to access these values first you should have what here structure variable so once after obtaining a structure variable so you have to use a dot operator to access a particular member here so uh, the syntax is what here structure variable name dot member name here so let us consider an example see uh, these two statements will read uh, data from the keyboard and will assign uh, to a particular structure members see how we are accessing a structure members here so that is e dot id num e dot uh, name e dot salary and similarly how we are accessing a uh, uh, structure members which are stored in a memory location for displaying it on the screen that is uh, e dot id num e dot name and e dot salary right so let us execute a simple program uh, to demonstrate all these things that is uh, defining a structure declaring a uh, structure variable initialization and how to access the members of the structure J 
cedit so already the program has been written here uh, see uh, we have uh, so what is our objective so we want to uh, we want to collect the information of the employee so what information we are collecting here the id number and the name of the employee and salary of the employee so what we are doing we have defined a structure here and uh, we have declared three structure variables so it means that three employees okay so let us uh, have only two uh, uh, structure variables okay and uh, so these two statements so first we will ask the user to enter the uh, id name and salary of the employee right so this particular statement will read uh, the id name and salary of first employee that is eid number eid name and e dot salary here and this particular statement will read a second employee details so once after reading is completed all that information will be stored in the respective memory location so next what we do we use printf statement to display uh, the information uh, which is accessed from the memory location so that is e dot id number e dot name and e dot salary so on so this particular uh, printf is used to uh, display uh, the information of the second employee so let us execute this program so first to save uh, go to terminal yes uh, what is the name of the program stru example dot c yes the compilation is successful dot slash a dot out right so first it is asking what here uh, the details of the first employee yes uh, say 222 say kumar kumar say 2000 so this is first employee detail so second employee detail uh, 33 say ravi say 3000 here right see uh, what happened so all these information is uh, handled by which structure variable that is e and all so this information the second employee information is handled by even structure variable so what we are doing we are displaying the first employee information we are displaying the second employee information here right suppose if you want to have one more uh, uh, employee detail then what we do so we will declare one more structure variable so that is what here e2 and uh, these two statements will read a uh, uh, first employee and second employee detail so you have to write one more scanf statement to read the details of third employee that is e2 e2 name uh, e2 id number e2 name e2 salary so once reading is completed after reading uh, the third employee information will be stored in the memory location so what is your next uh, uh, task is you have to display all three employees information on the screen so for that purpose you have to write what here three printf statements okay so just copy and paste modify the code here so instead of e1 e2 yes e2 e2 dot salary e2 dot name e2 dot uh, id num yes save the program and once again uh, re-execute right so first you clear the screen yes so once again compile the program because we have changed uh, the code in a program so the compilation is successful yes so first it is asking what here first employee details that is 222 say kumar the name is kumar and uh, salaries say 20000 second employee detail details you supply from the keyboard 333 ravi say 25000 right and uh, third employee detail say arun sorry first i should enter what here the id of the employee say 
uh, a room and uh, say 15,000 right so here what happened uh, the three employee information is read from the keyboard and the first employee information is handled by this structure variable second employee information is handled by e1 structure variable third employee information is handled by e2 structure variable so we read uh, the details of three employees and we have displayed here okay so this particular uh, uh, these particular statement will initialize uh, the uh, values to the structure members at runtime here okay so suppose if you wanted to do it at uh, compile time so uh, let us uh, put a comment for this so you have to write the values you have to supply the values here itself that is say 222 two, two. so name should be in a uh, double quote kumar and uh, yes uh, 20000 so here what we are doing uh, the first employee detail we have initialized uh, at compile time the two other employees second and third employee details we are uh, initializing at the compile time sorry uh, run time so let us save and run this program yes uh, clear screen yes compile the program yes you have to supply only two employees details here because already one employee detail we have initialized at the compile time right so uh, say 3 3 say Ravi say 25,000 for second employee detail say 444 four, four, uh, Arun say 15,000 right so 222 see first employee detail is what here 2222 Kumar this is uh, initialized statically nothing but what here compile time initialization these two information has been initialized runtime yes uh, hope you have understood uh, uh, how the program has been implemented using structures yes thank you please subscribe to my youtube channel to see more videos on programming subject thank you